why. Hello there. Now wants a little trainer, doing all by herself out in the forest. I see. Well, you wouldn't want any bad or evil trainers coming along and taking your Pokemon. Now, would you? No, I didn't think so. Well, who am I? I am... Genevis Metropolis. Yes. Genevis Metropolis, the famous Pokemon psychologist. Well, I can't believe you haven't heard of me. I would gladly take a look at your Pokemon for free. Do you have any on you? Oh, marvelous. Can I see that Pokeball? Okay. Now, I usually have a knack for these things. Let me see. Is it? It's a sand shrew. No? Oh, well, why don't we just open it and see what it is? Oh, I see now. It's a little Charmander. Well, isn't he, she, she precious? very first Pokemon. Yes. Oh, he must have a very special bond. Well, do you mind if I take a look? I'm an expert. Wonderful. Now, where did I put my Pokedex? Here we go. I just have a few questions about little Charmander here. When did you first capture? It was your starter Pokemon. Okay. How old is little Char Char? And its level must be quite high then. Mm, you don't say. So it's close to evolving. And what moves does it know? Okay. I see. Well, this data is quite interesting. It is. So, I'm just going to inspect little Charmander. What's that? Oh. Oh my. It seems that your Charmander is deeply, deeply disturbed. I must take him back to my office. I will treat little Charmander for free. That's what I do. I'm a philanthropist. Truly. This little Charmander is going to make me so much money. I mean, <laughs> I will get Charmander the help it needs. Jesse, you're gonna blow it. Shut up, James. Oh, that's nobody. Don't mind him. And now that I have your Charmander, prepare for trouble. And make it double. To protect the world from devastation. What do you mean you knew it was us? The whole time. That wasn't a very convincing disguise. 
I told you so. Well, what do we do now? That was their only Pokemon. It's not like there's going to be a battle. True. James, tie them up. What? Why? Well, I, I don't know. I thought that was something we just do. Take people to our secret lair. It just seems right. True. Good thing I brought my lucky rope. Even though I forgot my handcuffs at home. What? Oh, nothing. Hmm. Well, I can see you're already paralyzed by my beauty. Or paralyzed by fear from that monstrosity on your face. James, I told you, I'm stressing out. No thanks to you. All right, let me take a look at your face. Jesse, why don't you touch my face like that? James, I wouldn't touch your face with a ten-foot pole. Hey, I moisturize. Hmm. Well, little trainer, you look like a magmar mixed with a a dratini. Martini? I could go for one of those. A dratini, you idiot. Look. Look at the face. It's kind of working for me, actually. James, did you bring the sleeping potion? I thought you brought it. Where would I have put a sleeping potion on this outfit? I didn't tell you to wear that. That's why my outfit is sexy and sexy. Now what? We can't exactly transport this Pokemon trainer while they're awake. Our secret lair will be exposed. Didn't you say you were a master at hypnosis? Well... You did. You said that. I remember. Okay, I put it on no. Snapchat. Well, Jesse, he doesn't I had actually. It on video. I had it everywhere. I remember. Jesse, you said it. Okay. Well, I might be a tad bit rusty, but we can try. Yeah, I'll go run off to get the sleep potion. Maybe a blindfold. Maybe a Rhyhorn to carry this beast. Where's Meow? While we're waiting for James to come back with that sleep potion, I need to ask you a few questions before I can lull you to sleep. You don't mind, do you? It's not like you're going anywhere. Alright. What's your name? Are you a boy or a girl? How long have you been training? Taking a look at your Pokedex here. It seems like you've caught quite a few Pokemon. Are they all in your box? Hmm. I suppose it was wise to not bring your best Pokemon out into Viridian Forest. Now. Know your Pokemon type. James and I prefer poison. Is it because you're toxic to everyone you James, meet? You scared me. Announce yourself next time. Sorry. I'm not done interrogating the victim. You know, if we weren't kidnapping you, I'd ask you to join Team Rocket. They can be my new partner after the boss fires you. We can ask for new uniforms. Oh, I want the skirt this time. Breezy. The, the world can't handle your thighs, James. Oh, don't I know it. Anyway. If you came across a shiny Aerodactyl and a Pikachu in the wild, which would you capture? Okay. What about in Articuno? A Mew and a Pikachu? Oh god, always choose the Pikachu. Always. Always. I'm done. I'm done. Hand over the potion, James. Oh, right. Now, how many sprays do I do again? Don't ask me. I stopped using sleep potions years ago. Have you ever heard of ASMR? Shut up, James. We don't have time for this. Well, I'll be. I guess I'll just keep spraying until they're asleep. Sounds perfectly safe and reasonable to me. Okay, here goes. Are you asleep yet? Okay. 
a little more there. Sorry, I got a bit in your eyes. Do a little more on this side. It's looking dry. Don't tell me what to do. It is dry. They're looking quite sleepy. I think it's working. Night, night, princess. See you later. Jesse, I had such a cool ending line and then you went and ruined it. James, I will end you. You always do this. Me? Me? You're the one who makes everything so dramatic. Dramatic? I don't have a dramatic oh, bone in my body. Let's not forget the time you pushed me off stage at my sweet 16 and said it was time for the real star to take You're the You're welcome for that, by the way. That party was oh, lame. I bet the boss would love to hear that. Jesse, please. I can't work without this anymore. Where's Meow?